What was the situation for women that Paul walked into? It's not that there weren't instances where women could have occupied positions of leadership, could have been educated, could have had some kind of empowered status. I would say that that seems to be more exceptional rather than the norm. So I think we should assume that Paul came into, or Paul lived, in a culture that was relentlessly patriarchal and that if you had been born a woman, you would have been born assuming that you were a second-class citizen. I was studying 1 Corinthians 11, which is a highly problematic passage to do with women and head coverings or possibly hairstyles. For the first time, I thought, I wonder, you know, what do people really say about this? It doesn't make any sense. And then I started to think there might be another way of reading this that would simplify it for us. If Christ is the new temple, and if Paul really has this vision of a new humanity, so when we come together to worship, if we're one new person in Christ, so there is no inferiority and superiority, there's no I'm better than you. If we're really brothers and sisters in Christ, if we're really co-heirs, if we're really um, participating in the kingdom, then what is this business of needing some kind of covering or something to uh, validate my ability to minister? That doesn't make sense to me.